friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you as a subby friend. So today we are going to be making a cereal bowl candle. So someone sent me a um, TikTok. They shared a TikTok with me and it was someone who made a cereal bowl candle. And I thought, oh, it was really, really cute. So I decided that I would recreate that. Now, they didn't really have on there how they were doing, like they showed, you know how TikTok is, it's just a small little blurb. So I wanted to do this um, from the Dollar Tree. So I got these two candles from the Dollar Tree and you can, you can look at it and tell that it's pretty fluffy in there. So I have used these candles before. Like sometimes I like to mix wax melts with them and stuff like that. Um, so I know that these melt down to about half the size as far as wax goes. So I got two. I, I feel like two will be enough. Um, so we're going to use two. And then I have a bowl so this is a nice thick glass and if you're doing candles you want um, now I'm not a candle expert but I did read one time that you want it to be at least as thick as a wine glass that's what I read so I got this bowl and it's a really nice thick glass so I feel good about the safety of it Dollar Tree and then I got this pack of spoons. It comes with two spoons in there so I can make two of them. Glue dots. I'm going to repurpose my same wick. I generally always repurpose these wicks when I melt these down. Um, and I got some fruit loops. So I will tell you if I were doing this to sell or if I were like giving these as gifts i'm making this for me i would not use real fruit loops so what i did i went on to amazon and i did find some little fruit ring molds so i figured i will make some out of wax and we'll put one together after those come we'll put one together that you could you know comfortably sell but this, I'm doing this, you know, with all just stuff that I got from the Dollar Tree. And again, if I were selling them or anything like that, I definitely wouldn't use real cereal. All right. So I have my little wood skewer. And this is for me to put across to hold my wicks in place. And then this is just my little coaster. So what I'm going to do, I know people melt their wax in different ways. A lot of people do it in the oven. I always like to do mine in boiling water. When I talk about these type of candles, I do them in boiling water just because I feel like it's a more even heat, but that's just me. So we are going to put these guys in water, let them melt, and then we'll come back and make our candles. All right, so as you can see, we're in boiling water and we're almost done. This one is about done and then this one still has a little bit left to melt now be careful i don't use so this spoon actually goes into my candle making stuff i don't like try to wash it and reuse it or anything like that um, candle wax is not good for your pipes so you know definitely don't you know put it in your pipes and be careful because wax is, you know, certainly messy. So, almost done. When it's done, we'll bring it over. And, you know, again, we will save our wick from out of there. And we'll reuse it. All right, so you guys, please be careful. Don't burn yourself. Now I have my my wicks here. Now my one candle, candle still has a tiny little bit that is um, still
still solid, but that's okay. I'm just gonna leave it. And the other thing that I did forget to tell you guys, so I also have a paper towel to wipe my hands, but I also have fragrances. So I got these sets of fragrances off of Amazon. They're supposed to be good fragrances. Um, you know, so, I mean, they weren't cheap, but with fragrance, I don't think cheap is something that you really want to do. So I'm going to be using, so vanilla would be really good for this, but I'm actually, since it's for me, I'm gonna do something different and I'm actually going to make it coffee flavored. I was thinking bacon, but then I decided, nah, I'm gonna make it coffee. So I have this coffee fragrance. All right, now I'm gonna open up my dots. And you could also use like just a little piece of hot glue. I've done that before, a piece of hot glue um, down there, but you gotta, you know, kind of let it dry. Because this bowl is bigger, I'm going to be using both of these wicks. So I'm gonna put my dot, I'm gonna put one wick, and I'll put my dot on here. Maybe if I could get it to stay on. I am so not good with these dots. My husband laughs at me. He says I mess up the purpose of how the material is put on there. But And then I'm going to just roll my wicks up on my little... Thing here now remember I am like only recently started doing candles like this is a new thing for me so don't come after me for my technique I'm gonna roll this up all right because I want these to stand up now remember you know these are hot, but now the top of my jar is not. So I can take this and just pour it in. All right, I'm not having the easiest time in the world with my wicks, but you know, that is because I'm reusing wicks. All right, so I'm gonna just put some fragrance in and I want my fragrance to be, to go in when it's nice and hot so that it sort of disperses, you know, like a balloon, you blow it up and you put something in it, like, you know, marbles or something like, it goes all around, but then when the air comes out and it closes, they all condense. So that's what I want with my with my candle. Again, I'm you know I'm not a candle pro, so I just put what feels good for me. All right, so then the next thing that I'm gonna do. left might as well get it all so now I'm gonna open my spoons all right and I'm gonna put my spoon down in there 
All right, so now we'll let this set up. And after it sets up, we'll come back and we'll put on our Fruit Loops. All right, so my candle is pretty set up. Now it's not completely set up um, because you know the center is going to take longer to cool, but it's set up enough for me to continue. So I'm gonna go in and just trim off my wicks. There's that, and my spoon is in. So now I wanna put my cereal on. Now, in thinking about this, because I'm using real cereal, I don't wanna go like really close to my wicks. I'm not gonna put a lot of cereal on. I'm gonna make this sort of like the bowl, you know, is almost empty. go with that what do you think so now what I'm gonna do and just so you know so I'm gonna save these jars um, I haven't tried it before but I'm gonna save these jars because I'm thinking that if I'm well uh, melting other wax that I have like pellets I could probably put them in these jars and melt them so I'm gonna save them with my little wax spoon so now I have my heat gun and I'm gonna use my heat gun to just sort of melt my wax enough just to get my little cereal to stick on And I just want it to like stick on on the top because, um, you know, cereal floats in milk. Okay, so this is so cute. I'm going to tell you, I am totally digging this. This turned out even better than I imagined. It is so, so, so cute. Super easy. So it ended up being $2, three. I mean, this came in a pack of two, 50. It, so plus this, the things I have another one of those. This is reusable, but one, two, three, four, you know, <laughs> Five dollars, but again, another spoon to still use. The cereal will get used often. So five dollars with some with some products that can still be used. Not bad. Not bad at all. 
right? Like this is really cute. So like I said, I ordered, I ordered the molds and I'll make some of these. Um, when they come, we'll come back together and we'll make, you know, some wax little jellios so that we could actually make them to where they could be sold if you wanted to. Because this is adorable. We're given as gifts. Like, this is really cute. All right, I just wanted to come back and show you after it set overnight. You can see it set up really, really nice. And this is turned out so cute, you guys. Let me tell you, it totally fooled my husband. He thought that I left a bowl of cereal on the counter. So funny. So really cute. I am digging this so much. All right. Listen, I hope you guys have a blessed, blessed, blessed and beautiful day, friends. And I'll see you later. Bye.